Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today I will give you a simple but powerful tip on how to correctly drop people at different distances. I will be taking this from the chapter on perspective in my book The Basics of Drawing The Ultimate Guide for Beginners. I'll sketch this on an iPad using the program Procreate. First we draw the horizon line, which also indicates the eye level of the viewer. On a new layer, let's sketch a basic framework of a person. This type of simplified skeleton helps a lot when drawing from memory or imagination. It helps us to easily get the proportions right knowing that ideally there are eight head lengths in the body and that the second length of the head would get to the nipples, the third one to the belly button, the fourth to the crouch, which is half the body, and the sixth will be just below the knees. But that's a subject for a different tutorial. I'll leave the link in the description of this video. Let's draw our vanishing point, which can be anywhere on the horizon line and draw lines from the middle of the base of the feet and from the top of the head to it. If you are not drawing digitally, of course you can use a ruler. And let's say that we want to draw another person at this distance. Now we know how tall he or she should be. This is super easy. But what about if we want to draw more people, for example, here, in between those two but to the right or let's say here all the way to the left at a different distance how tall should we draw them it's very simple draw a horizontal line from the point you want them to stand all the way to our vanishing line then go up vertically to the other line and that's the correct height we transfer it horizontally to where our new person will be. I may divide that length in four equal sections to help me get the proportions right. Notice that the height of the horizon line is consistent for all. It crosses each person at the belly button. If we had drawn it at knee level or at shoulder level of the first person, that would also be consistent for the rest. And we do the same thing for the last one. We make a line horizontally to the vanishing line, go up and back to the spot. This, of course, gives us a person of the exact same height as the original, but at a distance. If you want a shorter or taller person than the original, from that height you will take or add a little. And if you made it all the way to this point, I would love to know it. Please in the comments write me the secret code SEXY SKELETONS <laughs> and it's ready! If you enjoyed it please give it a like, subscribe to Fine Art Tips if you haven't done so already, don't forget to order my book on the basics of drawing with the link below <laughs> and I will see you with more creations on Tuesday.